I'm starting to think I might have a chronic sickness problem at this point, uh, but I'm back. I've been revived by the news. News channels got to this a little faster than I ever will be able to, I understand, but uh, I have an excuse. It's my health, okay, guys? Just be accepting here. Hugh Jackman is coming back as Wolverine in Deadpool 3. I am so excited. Yes, let's get a round of applause. Yes, let's get a round of applause here for Hugh Jackman, the biggest of the Ackmans, the hugest. I love this man. I grew up watching Hugh Jackman's Wolverine. This, to me, the Fox X-Men movies, to me, especially the early ones, are to what some of the younger viewers of this channel, like teenagers and stuff, it's what the MCU is to some of you, okay? I love the MCU, at least a lot of it, not all of it. When I was growing up, because I'm 27, it was before a lot of that, you know, at least early on. So for a lot of the time when I was a kid, you know, in, in 2000 and the early 2000s, it was like the X-Men movies and the Raimi Spider-Man movies. These were like the big thing. And I always adored Hugh Jackman in this role. I thought he captured it so, so well and did such an amazing job. And it's so cool to see him back. Now, I do want to address a couple things with this. There are going to be a lot of people kind of saying, eh, this is just a cash grab. This is stupid. Why is he back? He died in, in Logan, um, which I'm assuming people watched. I don't, you know, it's five years old at this point. But <laughs> anyways, so I know that there's going to be a lot of questions on that. There's also going to be a ton of questions on what timeline this is, where this takes place. A lot of this is stuff we're going to have to wait and see on. I originally recorded this audio before, uh, but I was a little tired. I felt like I didn't do a very good job explaining the fact that there are a lot of discrepancies in the Fox X-Men movie timeline that we're going to kind of get into here. But really the core of the announcement is just that Ryan Reynolds released a video on Twitter. He talked about how, uh, you know, they wanted to make Deadpool 3 very special. And then he made a joke about he how he had no ideas actually for it. So they brought back Hugh Jackman. He asked him if he wanted to play Wolverine one more time. And he was kind of walking by in the background. He just says, yeah, sure, whatever. And that's kind of the teaser. And then they both sit down on the couch together. I believe it was today on Wednesday, the uh, the 28th. Wow, the time's getting away from me. And they talk a little bit about it in a follow-up video where they actually do address one major concern. The rest is actually censored out with music in kind of a comedic way where they then thank Kevin Feige for letting them talk about the movie. So that's kind of a, a meta joke about how he's like, you know, uh, constantly sniping people out of the sky about spoilers. But the concern that they address is with Logan, the movie itself. They talk about how Logan does die in the movie Logan in 2029, and they're not going to be touching that. They're not changing that. They're not doing anything with that. Uh, now, it's worth noting that there was a reference to this in Deadpool 2 with, you know, <laughs> with Deadpool actually having an action figure of, of Wolverine impaled on a log, which was kind of funny. Uh, but, you know, Deadpool is always known for the meta fourth wall breaking humor and stuff like that. That's really not touching anything. It's just a joke. When it comes to this movie, though, they do refer to Logan as its own thing, a totally separate thing. Now, what's interesting about that uh, is that it kind of does lead to some speculation. We're going to have to wait and see on that. The Fox X-Men movies, if we're just being honest, and this is as this is from a guy who even walked away from Dark Phoenix thinking that was fun. Yeah, you know, it's not a good movie. It's not. It's not. I'm not saying that. OK, I'm not going to tank my credibility here. But I walked away like that was that was kind of fun. You know, I'm still glad that we got one more out of them, uh, despite in my opinion, a lot of Disney interference and changes behind the scenes. That's its own total video uh, involving the Fox merger. But, you know, even coming from uh, a real big fan like me of the Fox X-Men movies, despite the fact that I can admit their faults, one huge fault of them was the timeline. The timeline was trash. It was done really, really poorly in terms of actually reconciling everything together. Now, there are statements and hints in Logan that it could be its own thing. There are statements and hints that it references back to the original timeline with X1, you know, and then there's James Mangold saying that this does take place for Logan, not this, not Deadpool 3, but Logan. 
uh, takes place five years after the end of Days of Future Past. Then you had Hugh Jackman kind of referring to it as its own universe. Then you had the Marvel Wiki designating it as its own universe separate from Days of Future Past. So you've had like, especially if you go on Reddit, there's always sort of debates about well, was Logan actually canon to the original X-Men movies and to the new timeline created by Days of Future Past, or was this a different Logan, and this was just kind of a love letter to Hugh Jackman playing the character in general? You know, a lot of that's kind of left up to personal interpretation. James Mangold did say that it took place five years after Days of Future Past. However, there were other continuity problems in that movie. For example, they said that no... I believe they said no mutants had been born in 25 years. The problem with that being that five years before that, in the epilogue of Days of Future Past, uh, we were seeing, like, 13-year-old mutants walking around Xavier's school and stuff. Um, you know, 13 to 15 and, and older and younger. So it gets really complex and complicated. That doesn't even include the fact that Caliban uh, being in Logan was kind of a contradiction. Uh, a little bit uh, because of the interpretation of the character and stuff. Anyway, regardless, like I know that this is not probably the video for like dissecting the Fox X-Men timeline, but the point that I'm getting at is that there's a lot of open-ended questions that I think could be answered very differently. No matter where you fall, because I personally believe that it's kind of up to personal interpretation uh, on how you see Logan and how you see Days of Future Past and reconcile them, I go both ways. I like Logan being a capstone to that original timeline, but at the same time, I also like the idea that Logan was its own thing, right? I like the idea that Logan was kind of a different Wolverine um, that had gone through similar experiences and that, you know, and that Wolverine actually got his happy ending in Days of Future Past. I like both interpretations. I really go back and forth on it, but I'm not sure what they're going to go with with the MCU because there are um, some spoilers here for Deadpool 2, or sorry, Deadpool 2, I'm stupid, Doctor Strange 2, and uh, some of the multiverse stuff going on I'm going to talk about here for a second. We do know that Phase 4, or like the mid to end of Phase 4 and sort of going into Phase 5, a lot of this is a bit of a saga about passing the torch, but also about the multiverse, right? About what lies beyond the borders of just the normal MCU that we've seen. Now, some of that stuff is very interesting. Some of it really isn't to me. Like, for example, Marvel Zombies is a snooze fest to me. I, I just couldn't care less about that. I know that's probably what some people are interested in. I don't care. Uh, but when it comes to the multiverse, we actually did get to see in Doctor Strange 2 Charles Xavier come back. Now, it wasn't the Charles Xavier we knew. They sort of played a riff off the 90s X-Men animated theme, and he had sort of the hover chair, and we knew that it wasn't the Fox X-Men Patrick Stewart Professor X, but it was a Professor X played by Patrick Stewart. So now for me... When we're getting into this here, am I excited to see Hugh Jackman back as a mega fan of, you know, the original Fox X-Men movies for what they were? Yes, I am. However, I also think that for me, just like how they're carrying Deadpool over, it would mean a lot more to me to see sort of that that original Wolverine back, right? Not just the actor, but to actually see him, because I did like I did actually like Charles Xavier in Doctor Strange 2, but I think one of my biggest problems with it is that nothing really came of it. Like, yeah, you see Captain Carter, but she's just kind of boring. Like, not they didn't really do anything with her, and then she's just kind of unceremoniously killed off. And it's not even, at least according to a lot of reports, it's not even the what-if Captain Carter. It's just a Captain Carter, right, in a different universe. And you get to see Professor X, and he's cool, and he seems like a, a good guy, uh, but he's just basically killed off and doesn't matter anymore, uh, and really didn't matter much to that movie at all other than, like, a shock reveal. So for me, with how they handled the multiverse in Doctor Strange 2, a movie that I did really like but feel like dropped the ball when it came to the Illuminati and their inclusions... I'm slightly kind of sitting here like I don't want Hugh back if it's going to be bad or if it's just going to be some random Wolverine we never knew and didn't care about like a second or third version of the character and he doesn't matter. That would frustrate me. I guess what I kind of hope with this stuff is that they go one of two ways. I hope that this is either a Wolverine kind of from that era of Days of Future Past's ending 
and from the Fox X-Men movies that comes over to the MCU to do something. And then if Hugh Jackman wants to be done, then he leaves. Because I know I know Hugh Jackman, no disrespect to him, is getting older. This is a part he said is very hard to play. One of the main reasons that he stopped doing it was because of Patrick Stewart stopping with Professor X and also just because of aging. The bodybuilding getting harder. He stayed in immensely good shape, but like, you know, basically putting on this superhero physique as you get older, it's actually very, very difficult to maintain. It can take hours of training a day uh, in a lot of cases. It's, it's just a lot of work, believe it or not. It's not like you just show up to set and you're like, hey, guys, I'm Wolverine. Like, it's a ton of work to be able to even maintain that physique. Now, I don't really think that they're going to want Hugh Jackman to be the main Wolverine going forward because of a few things. He already quit once. And he's not a quitter, but it's because he played the character for so dang long. However, he had said in the past that one thing that interested him was a possible team up with the Avengers. So stuff like that could have kept him playing the character for longer. But there were all the rights issues and the things where the universes were separate. So I'm kind of in the boat where it's like, I would like to see one of two things. I'd like to either see a a confirmation that Logan is its own timeline and that, you know, the Logan of Days of Future Past kind of got his happy ending and this is him. Or I'd like to see this story taking place between those two movies where you kind of get Logan coming in and, uh, you know, kicking ass in the MCU for a little bit and leaving. The weird thing is that with his statements in the past on wanting to work with the Avengers and stuff, I could very easily see this not being the final, final time for Hugh Jackman. I could see him returning in something like Secret Wars or something, but who knows? Uh, that's just me spitballing. I'm not, like, expecting it at all. I'm just kind of concerned in how they will handle it, but I'm very excited. I want this to be a Wolverine that we've seen the same way I want this to be the Deadpool that we've seen before. And I know that Ryan Reynolds wouldn't do the Deadpool aspect if it wasn't. If this was throwing out Deadpool 1 and 2 and was just getting rid of them, I truly don't believe Ryan Reynolds would want to make this movie, right? And in the same vein, I think that if this wasn't handling Wolverine well, Hugh Jackman would not have said yes to it. I really don't believe he would. The man doesn't need money. He doesn't need more fame. He genuinely seems like a nice down-to-earth guy who is not obsessed with those things um, and, and wants to play these characters because it's fun and interesting. I, maybe as naive as it sounds, I trust these two to have the best interest of the characters and the audience in mind when playing them, especially after the difficulties and frustrations that they had with like X-Men Origins Wolverine and some stuff like that. And even Green Lantern for Ryan Reynolds, like, you know that these people have learned uh, sort of like what it looks like when a studio handles this stuff poorly. And I know that they can do a good job with it. So I'm excited to see it. I'm wondering kind of what you think or what you expect. I also did have a question for those of you who stuck it out to the end of this video. How do you see Logan in terms of the movie? Do you see it as its own timeline? Because for me, I, I really go back and forth. Like there's a reference to the Statue of Liberty. So you could say, oh, it's a similar timeline. Some of those events happen from the original movies. Or you could say, well, no, this is the Days of Future Past timeline, it's just that Professor X read Logan's mind and he had the memories of both timelines, or whatever you want to say. I'm I'm just kind of interested in what you think about that with that original Fox X-Men timeline. Do you think it really did uh, exist as one big timeline and then it was retconned or like fixed and then continued on? Or do you think that it was multiple and Logan was its own thing? And how do you think they'll handle that here? Lots of interpretations. I'm interested to hear your thoughts below. Please be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more content. Thank you very much to my patrons. You guys know who you are, but I'm going to put your names up on the screen here as well and uh, work on my health and try not to be so sick. So have a fantastic day. And as always, everyone, stay shway.